Good morning, YouTube. It's uh, Wow Sly. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. A little poorly Wow Sly. Uh, I've had uh, some sort of cold for the past four or five days. Now I've thrown up and threw up, this morning threw up last night. Uh, I blame the kids. They had bronchitis all last week. So I haven't got bronchitis, but I've caught something because of them. All the, all the stuff, you know, like rats at school, and they all vermin bringing home diseases. So yeah, blame the kids, whatever I've got. Uh, right, so Stone Man 886 is um, got a competition going. Uh, it's a VR competition uh, to see EDCs. Uh, Stone Man is not really an EDC carrier. It doesn't have like, um, you know, the, he's got the pouches and stuff, but you know, hasn't got them filled up with uh, all the stuff that some people carry. Um, right, so uh, this is my VR to Stone Man 886. Um, he's got a couple of items that he carries, obviously, everyday carry. His keys, Swiss Army knife, you know, phone, wallet, the usual stuff. Um, I carry a little bit more, um, but a lot less than some people. Uh, so firstly, this is the... Uh, well, I carry it in. It's, it's a Webtex first aid pack. Um, I like it for its size. I've tried to have ones two or three different ones but this is uh, my personal favourite elasticated belt loops uh, stitched nylon one there um, it's normally got a few carabiners on here but the little carabiners are on the basher outside at the moment holding that up and um, also on the outside of that I can clip my uh, Baofeng UV5R uh, among other things and my licensed amateur radio operator and um this is my sort of what you'd call apart from being part of the hobby it's um backup communications in case my phone fails in an emergency um <clears throat> things i like about this radio obviously not just the um being a du dual band radio but it's got an fm radio for news and weather reports a bit of music and it's got a torch facility and a beacon facility and uh, with the beacon light you can it can be seen for about a mile away they reckon so if you are on a hill somewhere at night or even daytime you call for help set that up facing sort of probably the local town wherever you reckon help will be coming from or straight up if it's an air rescue and uh, they should be able to see that quite well uh, it's also got a personal alarm Multi personal alarm, you can set it for the alarm to go off to uh, a certain frequency to alert colleagues for radios or friends, um, or like a what call, Panel mode. What you'd call like a, a rape alarm, panic alarm, it goes off. Um, but you can have that going off while transmitting. Uh, I've got the extra battery for it, makes the radio about three inches taller. Uh, the RH771 extra antenna, which is probably three times longer than a standard antenna. Uh, the Fest mic, uh, which is better for audio, for transmitting, and uh, bad weather conditions, you can hold this to your ear and um, still sort of keep the radio sort of protected under your clothing. Um, that goes pretty much everywhere with me. Um, but the stuff that goes, the contents inside. Uh, carabiner, uh, use this again yesterday shopping, <laughs> my main use is clipping carrier bags on there when shopping, I can hold it by that and carry a shed load of carrier bags, yesterday going for the car park, I walked in slow motion asking my wife to get me a Yorkie bar, for those that have seen the advert, uh, so she was a bit embarrassed but you know, who cares, um, I took it apart a while ago, put it back together a bit untidy because uh, I had to take a wardrobe to uh, someone's house, didn't fit in the car, so I strapped it to the roof of the car. Um, the uh, solar charger for my phone, which also has a flashlight, well, a torch, sorry, we're in the UK. Uh, the lead for my phone, also in my emergency lighting kit, uh, which you'll see on other videos, is the, uh, the 12 volt charger for it. And next to my desk, I have the uh, 240 volt charger wall socket for it. 
brilliant bit of multi kit there. Uh, I did buy it to replace this, but I still carry it. This is my USB charger. I can plug it into anything USB. Um, I can charge it off that. Uh, you charge a car stereo, TV, um, computer, laptop, anything with a, a USB. Uh, plug my phone in there, push the button, and I can charge my phone. There's the lead for it. Uh, also use it for data transfer, can plug that into the stereo, play tunes through the stereo, photos and videos through the TV, DVD player, and share files also with computers and laptops. Um, spare lighter, I'm a Zippo user myself, I've got a couple of Zippos. Um, it's just an old spare lighter, it's handy for the flint, and obviously fuel. Um, backup obviously, because my Zippo, you know, goes out I don't always carry I should really get one of those little metal capsules and carry fluid but I will get around to it one day metal pen uh, I've mentioned this before this is a um, platinum Parker pen I used to carry uh, a metal pen from Harrods for about eight years until I lost that so I've got this one ultra strong um, carried a metal pen for about 15 years very handy when they're uh, participating in first person security and generally carried it in all the other security work I done um, public and some MOD stuff uh, metal pen can be your best friend when you uh, haven't got anyone else sort of near you also first aid the first aid value of a biro is fantastic and um, also a metal pen plus you know metal cylinder tube straw um, you can use it for a number of things you can blow onto a fire with it um, track optimies, uh, lots of uses there. <clears throat> oh, and you can write with it, that's also handy. Permanent marker, black, I uh, used it the other day to mark holes, putting up shelves in the uh, in the shack. Because um, obviously, permanent marker shows up better on the wall than a boom and borrow. And uh, my little fake Swiss Army knife, it's not a proper Swiss Army knife, I got this when I was like a teenager. Um, but the knife on it is still fantastically sharp. It's razor sharp. Um, corkscrew's been used several times. The can opener gets used a lot. The tin opener, I use that um, as my main tin opener when I'm out in the woods overnight. Um, screwdrivers are okay, um, but I prefer the screwdrivers on this. They're a little bit smaller. Uh, most of the screwdrivers I need are for sort of opening up radios, electrical appliances. So it's nice to have the smaller ones on here. Um, used the pliers on this. Put up a trampoline uh, a few days ago for the sister-in-law. She moved. She had an Allen key for the trampoline, but no pliers or spanners. So this came in handy for um, cutting the gaffer tape. Everything was gaffer taped together for transport. It's a pig to un undo. About seven layers of it. So I sliced all the poles and bolts open with the ta uh, knife, and then used the pliers to hold the bolts when I put the thing back together. Uh, just a cheapie, it was actually a gift from Funky Prepper. Um, he sent me a bag of goodies, I won a bag in a competition and then he filled it up with about 30 items, that being one of them. And um, now the first aid side of things, old memory card case, um, two disposable gloves. Um, since I was first first aider, teenager doing Duke of Edinburgh Award. Uh, one of my first hands-on experiences was a motorbike um, RTA where the guy's shin bone came through his knee. Um, since then I've always carried um, gloves. Um, a few years ago some old boy had a, a stroke outside the house. I grabbed a handful of these as I ran out the door when seeing the paramedics turn up. A uh, guy was, uh, kind of peed himself as he'd collapsed and gone down. We had to get him up, sit him up, and put a pair of gloves on while the paramedic got the oxygen out. And um, she then realised for some reason she didn't have any, so I chucked her a spare pair, so I grabbed a handful. So there's two pairs in there. It's always good to have a spare pair. Obviously, a lot of first aid is done um, with two people. And then this is the secondary part of my first aid kit. I have a proper first aid kit, but this is obviously the EDC version where I have young children and they constantly need plasters for owies and baddies and cuts and scrapes. So there's a nice little selection of plasters in there, along with some antiseptic wipes and um, CPR mask. Uh, 
<clears throat> been fortunate enough not to give CPR yet. Um, it was I was part of a group of people a few years ago that uh, pulled a guy out the sea. Um, but I was the one out in the sea, so when we came back, someone else done the CPR, which was good because I didn't fancy doing it. Um, obviously, the lack of breath I had. And then uh, band plans, frequency charts, converters, uh, which always handy to carry, and a couple of extra cards. We won't do any advertising here. I'll mention you know the cards that are for, but they're also handy to hand out to people when I'm out with uh, the radios. Um, but yeah, we don't like advertising on uh, on YouTube for other people. Um, so we won't mention that this is for the Charlie Tango DX group, CB and Amateur Radio, uh, DX Online Forum. Um, very good club to be part of um, lots of activities and competitions great bunch of people but as I say we, we don't you know advertise on a YouTube if you just want to pause that there <laughs> um, used to commute quite a lot but don't anymore so uh, it's my old train pass ticket thing you know doubles up now it's perfect for what I need it for um, so that's my uh, my EDC. Believe it or not, all that does fit in the Webtex pouch um, quite nicely. Still a bit of room for a few other things. Uh, the radio um, goes in my belt when I'm on my bike. Clips to my bag when I'm out for the weekend, and uh, clips several different places in the car. Uh, in the car, that sits in the uh, footwell of the passenger seat, but it fits in any pocket. I can clip it to my belt. Uh, it's so easy to carry. Um, all items have got at least two purposes. Um, first aid, obviously protection. Carry water in there. Uh, pens are cut dual purpose. There's uh, just flint in there. Fluid. Uh, see, lighter. Good for spaces too. If you want to hold up a radio to let some sound out or hold a door open. It's always handy to carry something like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Torch, solar panel, single use really, just, yeah, single use. Um, shopping bag, carrying implement, stroke, rope, carabiner. There we go, any questions please ask. Um, but I'll put a link in the description for Stoman's channel. Um, check out his channel. Um, it's a good bloke. Uh, Great videos. Uh, enjoy just reading the, uh, the the book side of um, you know the outdoors world, not just obviously running around out on a hilltop. Uh, very clever bloke, and uh, also got to mention the video skills have come a long way. The past few videos I've noticed have been fantastic. He's had like banners across the bottom of the screen and stuff up the side of it, and I could do all that. Well, the computer could do it, but I can't. So hats off because uh, your yeah, video skills are a hell of a lot better than mine. For starters, this is my phone and it's all shaky. Um, I don't even use a camera or tripod. So yeah, you've got a really good channel at the moment. Um, good quality um, stuff being uploaded there. Um, you know, fantastic. So uh, yeah, check the link out below. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Wow Sly. Uh, AKA Charlie Tango 941. Uh, AKA Mike Six Charlie Tango Papa.